May you humble ourselves as we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and joy as we gather to commission the new Nachiwuo Stadium. We thank you for the vision, the hard work, good health, for the provision that has enabled us to deliver this momentous project. As we commission the new stadium, dear Lord, we ask you for blessings to be upon the gates of this stadium. May it be a place of unity, joy, celebration, and prosperity for the sports fraternity of Uganda. We pray for the safety and well-being of all those who will use this stadium, from athletes to spectators, staff, and volunteers. May it be a place where friendship is formed, memories are made, and dreams are realized. We pray for blessings for all the hands that enabled this to happen. We pray for the developer, Mr. Hamis Chikundu, that God may continue to enable you to do more projects like this in the future. We also lift up our president, who is in our midst here now. We ask you to continue giving him the wisdom, the discernment, and good health as he continues to lead our nation. We thank him for his guidance and blessings upon which this project was started. May his presence here today inspire us to work together for the common good of our country, Uganda. Dear God, we pray that you bless this stadium, bless the developer, bless the president as we embark on the new journey. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Your Excellency, all ministers are available today, all protocol observed. I take this opportunity to humbly welcome you on the commissioning of Nachiwa Stadium. Your Excellency, we are humbled by the fact it's because of your goodness and political blessing that I, for one, have been able, as an ordinary Ugandan, to put up such a structure. Your Excellency, I take this opportunity to introduce to you the team that has been behind this project we are commissioning today. Starting with my management, which is sitting over here. Your Excellency, today we didn't invite anyone outside the perimeters of people that we are direct participants in the implementation of this project. And I would humbly inform you that we are proudly Ugandans who have come together and put up this project from the start to where it is today. Your Excellency, all the people you see here are the Ugandan ladies and gentlemen that have been working on this project. Your Excellency, 10 years back in 2014, I came to you seeking for your political blessing to do this project. And indeed, you told me, my son, you have my blessing. And your excellency, I'm so humbled for the fact that ever since I left you in 2014, that was December, I've always had your support and your blessing. Thank you so much, your excellency. Your excellency, we've had a lot of hardships uh, here and there, but uh, within perimeters of reason, it will be unjustified for me to simply narrate the story of the hardships I have had when I have got such a project today being commissioned by His Excellence. In reason, we look at substance rather than formation. What matters today is the fact that the project is here and it is being commissioned by His Excellence. Your Excellency, I for one, I don't expect to be appreciated for doing the same. For I take it for an obligation as a Ugandan that it is my own responsibility to devote myself but at the same time devote my country collectively. I 
And, and Your Excellency, I take this opportunity to talk to my fellow Ugandans that this is a direct reflection of your effort and struggle. The prevailing circumstances created by the current NRM regime is the main reason as to why an ordinary Ugandan like me is able to do such a project. If other Ugandans can fall feet, for I have illustrated that it is a reality and yes, it can be done. So if others fall feet, I'm sure your excellency we shall develop this country, Uganda. Your Excellency, without saying much, let me take this opportunity to invite the Honorable Minister of Sports to give his remarks. We'll later invite you uh, to give us your wisdom and guidance on the same.